Uh, my name's Len Chu. Uh, I've been with the support group for about six, seven months now. Uh, I've got a brain tumor in my left temporal lobe. I've had uh, several concussions over my life, which has possibly something to do with some of my issues with my brain injury. My brain injury, which was an assault, I was pretty much beat to death. My arm was in a coma for 10 days, and when I came out of it, I just didn't know anyone. When I came out of it, it's like uh, my family and some friends and my girlfriend were in the hospital room with me, and I just came out of my coma, and I looked at the people. I didn't even recognize my mother, so all these people were in the room, and so I just started pushing back in my bed, and uh, I was just totally lost. And I had to learn to read again and write and even know my own name again. Like I said, I didn't know my own family right when I woke up out of my coma. When I was having the temper tantrums and everything else, and because of that with my father, he put me into the mental brain injury. First first couple times, I didn't want to come and talk to nobody or see anybody. Here. So I came up here and I was introduced to a lot of other people with head injuries and I felt great, you know, just coming here and being amongst other people instead of TV and doing nothing for myself. It's been a long road coming back and uh, I've had a lot of help through the Natural Brain Injury Association. They actually helped because, not that anyone just singled me out to help me, it's because I could meet people in the groups that were just like me. And it sort of, in a way, bring you out of a shell. Uh, I learned uh, my anger. Like, I lost the anger. I'm happy outside, but inside, holy cow. I just want to punch the wall in. And, but I learned to, um, what can I say? I learned to take it easy, think what I'm going to do. And I learned to put my feelings out. And that's important. Just literally getting out and being with people that are sort of more on your level, so to speak, that can understand you more than the average person can. Support how to do, how to live with the uh, brain injury, family, friends. Well, that's why I come to the group and learn how better people and make them laugh. I guess I'm a joker and a smoker and a midnight toker. shy at first that's how everybody is you know you don't know what you're coming to and everything else but it's a great thing it helped me out so much not just me but other people that are attending a medical brain injury too I've been coming here for over 10 years or something like that and you know <clears throat> because they build up my confidence in myself and I I go to the you know I've I go to the gym and everything else like I used to and everything else. I play hockey. I was scared to get back into everything, but it gave me so much more confidence coming here. And I also got my mature student diploma. I got my, uh, <clears throat> I got that in one year. I got eight credits. And, you know, like I said, scared. Don't be scared. Be faithful that it's here and it's here to help. And that's what it did to me. It helped me out so much. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on in. It's fun. It's like a family here. It's true. And I've, and there I don't have friends here. I have friends. And this is like a family. <clears throat> don't be scared. Just come in.
been coming to this group for Mental Brain Injury Association for a long time. And I like it, I enjoy coming. Met a lot of nice people through there and the facilities are nice. And I've been coming here for probably about 25 years now or something. I've learned that it takes courage to ask for help. I come here because of the support group therapy, uh, presentations, and education. And I need help with my documents. I'm grateful for the MBI staff supporters and sponsors for everything. I know that I'm not alone because of the group.